And we're back. Okay, so we're going to balance this using the basic method. Okay? So the question would say something like, balance this reaction in basic conditions. Some sort of wording like that to indicate that you want it as a base, not an acid. I listed out all the states there, though you could guess three of the four of them. The two with charges have to be aqueous. Things with charges are aqueous. And then I2, this is general knowledge, and you know, that's a solid. Okay, that's one of your diatomics. Okay, well, let's get this started. Get this crazy party started here. Iodine, it's given, has a minus one charge. This one, it would be what? Uh, if you said zero, you're right. It, uh, there's, there's no charge on it. It has to be zero. The uh, oxygens are both minus two. And so then you need to figure out what the manganese is. Uh, you might have to do a little scratch work over here. For MnO2, there's a manganese plus two oxygens equal overall charge of zero. That molecule has no charge. Manganese plus two oxygens at minus two equals zero. Manganese equals plus four. For the other one, MnO4 minus, manganese plus four oxygens equals minus one. So there's one manganese, four oxygens, overall charge is minus one, and seven O4 minus. This is the permanganate ion. So Mn plus four oxygens at minus two equals minus one. Mn that's going to be minus 1 plus 8 plus 7 plus 7. So you can see the manganese is going to change. It's plus 4 here and plus 7 here. So the iodine increases in oxidation state. That's called oxidized. The manganese decreases in oxidation state. That's called reduced. Or you can think it reduces its state from 7 to 4, so that's a reduction. So, since charges change, we're going to use, uh, and oxidation states change, we're going to use the, uh, what's it called? Half, we're going to write this in half reactions. We have to use uh, the redox method of balancing here. Okay, so, let's write these out. We've got separate them out into likes. Iodine is similar, so you put it together in a half reaction. And manganese is similar. There we go. Got that separated out. The iodine gets oxidized. The top one's oxidation reaction, half reaction. The bottom one is the reduction half reaction. Now, let's write out what we get. Let's start with the top one. Step one, you balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. There's two iodines here, so I need two here. Step two, you balance the oxygen, but this has no oxygen in it. Step three, you balance the hydrogen, but there's no hydrogen here. Step four, balance the charge. So we got minus two on this side and zero on this side. So to get equal on both sides, I'm going to put two electrons here so that it's minus two on both sides. Now let's try the bottom one, manganese. Step one, balance it. Step one, you like that? Balance one that, uh, anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen, that's manganese, but it's one on each side, so we're cool. Step two, balance the oxygens. So, you balance oxygens with water. I have two waters here. What that does is it gives me four oxygens on each side. That messes up my hydrogen, so we go to step three. Step three is where we balance the hydrogens. There's four on the right-hand side, so you need to put four over here, but not just hydrogen. You have to put H+. Plus. And then uh, the last step is to uh, fix the charge. Overall charge on the right is zero, but on the left is plus four, minus one, or three. So we've got three electrons there. That should do it. Um, so my half reactions are done. I'm going to add these up. And again, these are simultaneous reactions. And if you're wondering, 
hey, why can't you just freely add water while you're in solution? So you can easily add water when you're balancing. That's, it's not just random. And if you're wondering why can you freely add H+, plus, well, if you're in acidic conditions, there's going to be H plus there, because that's the definition of an acid, H plus. Now, I know we're balancing this in basic conditions, and my method, which could be different than what you learned, is to do that at the very end. So you see how that works. So really, we're doing the acidic answer first. I need to multiply the top by 3, the bottom by 2, to get the electrons to cancel. That'll go for the top, 6 electrons on the right-hand side, for the bottom, 6 electrons on the left-hand side. Those will cancel. They should. They're my intermediate. Now I write down everything. 6i minus plus 8h plus plus 2 permanganate ions. That goes to 3i2 plus 2 manganese 4 oxide plus 4 waters. Okay, there we go. Get that down. There's my reaction. If I put it in the state symbols, I'd be done for the acidic conditions. If I'm doing our basic. Now, if you have to do basic conditions after you get the acidic answer, what you do is you identify your H+. Plus. H+, plus is what tells you this is uh, an acid. What you want to do is we're going to change that to a base. Now, we're going to manipulate it with our just our pencil, but uh, this would naturally happen in solution, in a basic solution. So what you're going to do, the trick is to add 8 OH minuses to both sides. How did I get 8? Well, I need to add an equal amount of base as there is acid. Since there's 8 H pluses on the left-hand side, um, I need 8 OH minuses. But mathematically, to be pure, <laughs> I have to add it to both sides to not change my equation at all. Remember, we're thinking of this as an equal sign whenever we do redox equations. Okay, so add this up. 6i minus plus 8H2O plus 2MnO4 minus goes to 3I2 plus 2 manganese 4 oxide plus 4 waters plus 8OH minus. There we go. I got my reaction. I want to cancel stuff from both sides, uh, if I can. And again, <laughs> there's four waters here and eight here, so that leaves a net of four waters on the left-hand side. And it looks like that's all that'll cancel, so I'll just rewrite my answer with these symbols. We've got 6i minus aqueous plus four waters, liquid, plus... 2MnO4 minus the permanganate ion, aqueous. That all goes to 3I2, solid, plus 2MnO2, manganese 4 oxide. That happens to be a solid, plus 8OH minus. And that's aqueous. And that thing, that reaction at the very bottom, finally is my basic conditions answer. I know it's a base because it has OH in the products. So I know I've got my right basic conditions answer. And you can always double check. I've got six ions on both sides. I've got two manganese. I've got eight H's. And for the O's, on the left-hand side, I have four plus eight, that's 12. Right-hand side, I have eight plus two times two, four is 12. So I have the same, it's all balanced, same number of items on both sides.